Hello and welcome to my channel. So like I normally do in a lot of my makeup tutorials, I start it off by getting a white eyeliner pencil and sketch out the design on my face. Once I'm happy with the design, I get the Snazaroo face paint in fuchsia pink and start to paint the first layer of ice cream. I then get the Snazaroo face paint in sparkle white and start to paint the second layer of ice cream. I didn't paint this over my lid because I knew it would crease later on, so I got the P. Louise base in the shade Zero and place this over my lid. I then paint the third layer of ice cream and for this I use the Snazaroo face paint in the shade Lilac. Then for the fourth and final ice cream, Cream layer I use the Snazaroo Sea Blue face paint and just like I did with the other eye I prime the eye with the P. Louise base in shade 0. I then go ahead and do my base makeup if I was to do this whole look again I would have done the base makeup first so it wasn't as difficult to apply foundation in between all of the drips. I then get my Lunatic Cosmetics Labs contour palette volume 2 and I use the brown shades in that palette as a shadowing around the drips. I start off by just putting shadow in around the bottom half where the drips are against my skin but I then decided that I wanted each layer to really stand out from each other so I created some shadow in in between each layer as well. Now I wanted to add some texture to my layers so I wanted the blue layer to have some white swirls in so that is what I did with the white face paint and then I lined the lid with the Fenty Beauty Vivid Eyeliner in the shade Wet T-Shirt. And for the white ice cream layer, I wanted it to have sprinkles going through it. So I used every single shade from the Fenty Beauty Vivid Eyeliner Collection and started to just tap over this layer to create different colour sprinkles. Now it's time for the waffle cone neck. And the first thing I use is the Snazaroo Sparkle Face Paint in the shade Copper and I blend that all over my neck. To contour my jawline, I used the Snazaroo Classic Face Paint in the shade Dark Brown. Then I got the Snazaroo Classic Face Paint in light beige to start to paint on the kind of crosses across my neck and my chest so it looks like a waffle cone. Then went over it with a little bit of white just so it stood out a lot more and that the lines were a lot thicker. I then went back to the dark brown face paint and start to create some shadowing in the top corners of the diamonds in this pattern. If I was to go back in time and redo this look, I would do this in the bottom corner of the diamond because I just think it would look a little bit more realistic as to where the shadows would be. I wanted to add a little bit of definition to my eye but really not much at all so I just added the tiniest bit of brown eyeshadow to my bottom lash line. I then covered my lashes with some mascara and applied the Scouse lashes in the style Anfield Road. I then lined my lips with the Primark lip liner in the shade Blush Melba and I went over that firstly with a liquid lipstick by Fleek Cosmetics and it is in the shade Pink Berry. I wanted to create an ombre lip so I then went into the Fleet Cosmetics liquid lipstick in the shade Poppy Pink and applied this on the outer corners of my lips. And that is the makeup done. I then put on this wig and I also had these plastic ice cream cones that I painted different colours but they originally are bubbles so you twist the top off and blow bubbles like kids bubbles that you can get but I found them in a shop and I loved them so I made them into a headpiece. Let me know what you think of this look in the comments down below. If you like it make sure to press the like button because it really really does help me and my channel out. If you would like to see more from me you can hit that subscribe button as well so you do not miss any videos and you can also follow me over on Instagram and TikTok. Over there my name is at brook.ellis underscore is linked in the description down below along with some discount codes for you if you are interested in saving some money. Thank you so so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!